Hi, I'm Dina Wakely. I love printmaking. I love the new gel press plates that we have, and I love scribble sticks. Come and see how I combine them. Hi, Dina Wakely here, and I'm excited to show you some of my favorite things to do with the Dina Wakely Media Dilutions Gel Press Collaboration. You can get a 9 by 11 plate, which is nice because it's big enough to fit in the two large journals, my large journal and Diane's large journal, because we have custom sizes, so you probably don't have these sizes. We, we were able to choose them. And then this set has three plates in it. You get a big one that fits a number 12. This one's about number 10-ish maybe a little smaller, and then this one is a small round. And the reason you can't see them through the package is that I have them in the trusty dusty tin. So you can store them in the tin, which makes it really nice for putting them back. And these are really pristine and clean. <laughs> Uh, because at home I don't, I'm not very good at cleaning mine. But you can take off the, the backing, the packaging, and be in printmaking heaven. We also have fun other accessories that you can use with your plates. We've got two different size brayers. Diane was super excited that those brayers are pink. I will tell you, none of mine in the studio look like this anymore. <laughs> They're not pink anymore, because I don't clean them. Uh, gel plate squeegee, cool little tools for marking. I'll use some of those in a second and also gel plate conditioner. And so if your plate starts to get kind of, I don't know, gummy just from residue building up, this will bring it back to life. So that's super fun. And I'm going to make a print, a few prints with scribble sticks. So believe it or not, even though scribble sticks are kind of a water-based medium, they work awesome on the plate. And you're not going to get quite the same appearance with scribble stick pigment as you will with acrylic. Because acrylic is plastic and scribble sticks are, you know, a water-based media. Um, and so I'm putting a couple different colors on there for kicks. Print, real printmakers would slap my hand for putting media right on the plate. I mean, that's generally not done, but in the mixed media world, we do it. Why don't people put media right on the plate? Because you can end up with too much. If you've ever made a print and it ends up being what I call mushy, it's because you've got way too much media on your plate. So mushy prints are caused by too much paint. You're supposed to put your paint here, pick it up with your brayer, and then lay it. So what I did, did, put a couple different colors. I did lime, peacock, and turquoise. Took the space dot stencil, pressed it on, brayered it, then removed it. So now I've got a cool little background going on in there. I'm now gonna take a coordinating scribble stick and I'm going to dip it in water. These do not work at all unless you dip them in water on the plate. And let's see, I think I'm going to do marine. I'm going to dip, I'm actually dipping in the, the squared off end and right on the plate I'm going to press hard, you have to really press hard, lay, this, lay the pigment down. Now notice that I'm dipping it every single time I apply it to the plate. So because I want the water on the plate to activate that, that pigment. And if you have a lot of water, if you have a puddle, um, then it's going to kind of mush out there. But then you're going to say my three favorite words. Oops, oh well. And it's going to look really cool. See how the water's um, being rejected in a way by the plate? Because the plate's made to take acrylic. Okay, so this is a, I think this is a Diane tag. Dilutions tag. I always sprayer the back. Oh, I love it. Is that not so gorgeous? So you, you get a watercolor effect. I'm gonna do one more for a ghost. I'm probably not gonna get a great ghost. Oh, love love the ghost even almost even better. So you see the acrylic down there and the scribble stick. Now, because I think I had too much water, because I had so much water, that's why it's a little mushy. Let's try again. The more you go, the better your prints get, right? Because you start to use dirty plates, dirty materials, and you'll get residue happening from print to print. And that is how your prints will start looking interesting, is when the residue starts transferring from print to print. So please, you know, I, I'm, I'm fine if you want to clean up after you print, but until you uh, are done, you know, do yourself a favor and don't clean up every little bit every time. Um, your prints will be so much better and so much more interesting if you let those accidents, that residue happen. 
Okay. Print again. I can tell that one's going to be mushy, but this one's not. Can you? See, I don't know if you can see the difference in the water, but that it has a big puddle and this has a small puddle. So I'm going to leave it that way so that you can see the difference. Oh, fantastic. Isn't that stunning? You'll notice these types of prints in my journal. Um, I've been using them as foundations for backgrounds and for stamped tags and things and journaling right in the scribble stick areas. Not cool. And so if one of them's really light, like I, I personally love that, but if you think, oh, I wish that had more printing on it, that's when you keep going. And I love to print again on all of my prints. And what I do is I turn to those tools. So these tools that we have here um, are fantastic for adding uh, sort of focal points and more texture. So that is eggplant paint. I'm gonna just comb it until it dies. See how I'm kind of pulling the paint off to the bottom there? I never cover the whole plate when I print again. So the first print covers the whole plate, the second print covers less, covers less real estate. So you print on your prints again and again. Oh, cool! And you get lots of interesting effects. Cool. Love that. Maybe one more time. One of my favorite things to do is to do a semic writing. A semic writing is marks that have the appearance of text but no semantic value. I did not make that up. <laughs> that is an art term. You can take these great little tools to scribble in there. That's going to look really cool on this one. Oh, love it. So see how when I make those marks, I'm not doing it over the whole print. What I'm doing is making those marks to add little visual elements to the prints. One of my favorite things to do, let's say you have a print that mm, you don't like. <laughs> even I will make prints all the time. Actually, I shouldn't say even I. I definitely make prints I don't like. Cover your whole plate with a metallic, give a good sniff, and we think it smells kind of minty. <laughs> and then grab one of these tools, do a really loosey-goosey circle comb through that metallic layer. I actually like all of mine. I don't even want to print on one of them, but we'll do this one. So I'm going to take this print here. I'm going to take it and print that gorgeous metallic over the whole thing. Isn't that gorgeous? So some easy ideas with the new tools, with the scribble sticks right, right on that plate. And I cannot wait to see the magic that you make.